Welcome back to Good Morning Veil. Vale. Tuesdays, I love Tuesdays, and in part because of our new health and wellness segment that we are partnering with All Points Lodge, or All Points North Lodge, and they're located in Edwards, and they're all about health and mental wellness. And here with me this morning, we have the clinical director. We have Abe Antine in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. So good to have you here. It's good to be back. And you know, there's there's a lot that goes into All Points North Lodge, and yes. it's very much a, a comprehensive facility. It's not just you know treating one thing or the other. But one thing that I've, uh, I kind of have a question for you about is we've, we've discussed a little bit on Tuesdays about um, the word trauma. Yeah. And to me, that means, okay, was it there, maybe there was like a big car accident or, you know, I have friends in the military, maybe mm. it's um, something that happened, you know, overseas, but like a big, a big event. And is that what you mean by that? Can you kind of? So, you know, tra it's, it's interesting that you're asking that because you know, trauma is so many different things, and, and most people, when they hear trauma, that's what they think. They think um, combat, right. you know, PTSD, um, major illnesses, things like that, and that is trauma, and we do treat that, but um, really what we're talking about is, is the link between trauma and addiction and other dysfunctional behaviors. And that trauma is more of the complex trauma. So the trauma that you're referring to is singular events, specific events, right, mm -hmm. that created significant impact that have led to stress, right? Um, what we're talking about is more complex trauma, which is a series of events, right? Maybe not as large or significant as uh, major mental, major physical illness or combat or injury, but developmental or relational trauma, childhood trauma, uh, trauma that that um, may not seem so traumatic, and, and and but but over a period of time leads to significant impact. Uh, we refer to that as relational trauma or developmental trauma. Um, you know, neglect or abandonment obviously physical or sexual abuse. But more often than not, uh, the trauma that we see and, the, and, and what we're treating and the correlation between that and addiction, a lot of that is more covert. Um, you know, most parents love their children um, and have no intention of hurting them. Mm -hmm. You know, great example, I love my six-year-old, right? And he's, you know, he's my everything. Um, I come home from work and I'm on my cell phone a lot. And, you know, one or two times, not a big deal. But if I'm attached to that phone and he's looking for me to relate to him, mm -hmm. that's neglect. Interesting. And over a period of time, that impact is very significant. And what that does, um, and there's other forms of that we can get into, but what that does is it really impacts a child's ability to learn to connect to others it impacts their ability to be intimate. Huh. It impacts their ability to self-soothe, to regulate their emotions, um, their coping skills, because that, they learn all that from their parents in those formative years. So, um, you know, the correlation to the addiction is, as this kind of neglect or even worse abandonment is when, you know, neglect is unintentional, abandonment is more intentional, Gotcha. Um, that kind of thing leads children to self-soothe and regulate their emotions in less than functional ways. Interesting. I, isn't it, this is fascinating, and obviously, like we just we don't have enough time to mm -hmm. to really dive into all of this. But if there's people that are watching and they're thinking, oh. Okay, so maybe maybe I could really use some help, mm -hmm. but maybe maybe they're not thinking I need you know thirty days mm -hmm. or sixty days to, to stay in a facility. Mm -hmm. But maybe they just they're looking for something different, so they could maybe give you guys a call and just kind of yeah. I mean, we have we have week long intensives okay. for people that you know maybe are not at a place where they need to check in for thirty days, right? But you know where their lives are in a place where stuff from the past has really impacted their ability to have healthy relationships. You know, those are some of the symptoms that we, we look at, you know, anger issues, process addictions, they're working too much, their work-life balance is off kilter. Um, 
you know, for, for those people that, that are not at a place where they're addicted to drugs or they're at rock bottom, but their lives are not where they want them to be, we still can offer help. And we have specific methods and ways of treating the underlying issues that are leading to what the problems that they're seeing today. This is, this is so amazing. And thank you so much for being sure. here. And hopefully we can dive into more of sure. this on, on Tuesdays to come. To. But of course, we're, we're out of time. Wow. There's never enough time. Thank you so much. You're and if, again, if you want to get in touch with All Points North Lodge and see it, just if they can help you start um, your journey, whatever that might be, you can contact them at apnlodge.com or you can call them at 888-329-6212. We'll be right back with another look at that local weather forecast.